don't write the scripts for these. <laughs> <laughs> I should. Someone told me, like, do you read off a script? I was like, I wish I could tell you the truth. Or, and I could tell you the lie. But honestly, I don't write the script. I do this live. Like we're doing this match here. I, I, try, I try to do the best shilling I can, Strides. Uh, shout out to Strides, man, the homie. But I wish I knew who was who here. Uh, looking like MCAT is the person on the Palutena, so my names are on the right side. Anyways, let's get on to here. Palutena versus uh, Piranha Plant. Honestly, look, Plant is a character that I tell people he is not low. He, I, was, I don't know why I saw low tier on the Plant, but if anybody like wants to say something about Plant, I could say this about Piranha Plant. This character may not be the strongest in the meta, but this character is in a really funny niche that Luigi falls under alongside characters like Game & Watch, and that's anti-meta. This character is so anti-meta, he actually was able to kill, like, Palutena from landing there. In a situation where Palutena will have no issue landing, Plant does it all, so you have to really consider Plant options. Like, it's one of those matchups not a lot of players know, just because there's not a lot of Plant out there, but for sure this character is a strong anti-meta pick. He does so well against the meta characters. It's ridiculous here, but fortunately here, MCAT will definitely get that good reflector off, and it's going to keep the stocks as close as possible. Yeah, I mean, as you were saying about uh, Piranha Plant, I did see this one meme about him that apparently, like, one, if you guys have casual friends that play Smash, play Plant, and, and when, you're, when they're about to die, hold neutral B, and if they hit you, the ball will kill them. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the that's the real W, man. They might have they might have won the battle, but they've lost the war. Cause Plant usually wins the war of attrition. He definitely has a lot of the range tools, but I arg I arguably say like Patui, which is the ball, the spike ball, is it's like it's just like Gordo, but even I would argue even better at times because it's just so active and the raw knockback and just the things that you can do around with Patui. It make, it's ridiculous. Look at that. You normally in a situation, MCAT would be in the right going for neutral layer there because there's so much you can do. The problem is the ball is still active. It can't be sent back versus Gordo that can actually be bounced around against King Dedede. Look at that. Yeah. Explosive flame? Say no Say no more, man. But Tui does it all. Maybe it even pays your bills. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe it even pays your bills. Beautiful saying right there. But yeah, I mean... Definitely. Patui is probably like one of Prana Plant's gr greatest tools in his arsenal, definitely. Yeah. Oh no, that explosive flame right there ending out his stock though. It's such a strong tool in Plant's neutral that it's literally why you... What a pressure. The way that Patui dropped there at that angle and then that forced MCAT to pick a jump option to get away from that situation and then Skeeto just calling that out, that was well played. I, I have to commend him for it. He knew how to make the right reads. One thing that I don't see Skeeto doing a lot is setting up a uh, a uh, poison cloud to you, and then using a uh, any move inside of it because Prana yeah. doesn't get affected by it. Exactly, but you I can literally hide so many options. You can hide a Patui, you can hide the long stem, which is basically the long neck, the proper terminology for the long neck move Plant does like that. Uh, but yeah, like you said, I think it's because he feels really comfortable at this point in time that like, look at that. Like, you think you're getting this edge guard? Nah, son, get hit by this Patui. You think you're getting this explosive flame? Get hit by this Patui. Jesus, man. Mighty man, it might even make you graduate college if you actually just use Patui. I'm telling you, dude, it does a lot for you. Look at that smile. Look at that smug smile on Piranha Plant. You know he don't deserve it, but he still got it. <laughs> like, man literally has no arms. He has leaves. He... Now, here's the thing. For some reason, he has legs. He has, that, awesome. the, the, he has those stubby little, like, Kirby nubs at the bottom of his little pot. It's crazy, but... It's crazy how this character came out, right? And we were like, dude, Plant is, like, the world's worst DLC. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like, throw your fantasy... Throw <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey, you never know, man. It might boost Mighty Man's GPA that he can skip high school. I, I remember, okay, hold on. Real quick, I do remember, like, my early days of the community college before I transferred to a four-year university. I remember meeting this kid who was, like, I think he just turned 16, and he was, like, already working on his, like, 
uh, GED. And I was like amazed. I was like, Jesus, dude. Uh, <laughs> junior high. But you never know, man. My, I spoke to Mighty Man off stream. I'm telling you, this kid is intelligent. Every uh, These Zoomers may be Zoomers, but they're, they're Zoomers in intelligence. I will say that for sure. Give them time. Give them time. Uh, back, to the, back to the topic at hand. Man, Plant is one of those characters, like I said, dude. Like, we saw this character. We, we told everybody, like, yo, toss your your bingo cards for DLC away. It's probably going to be, like, Plant. It's probably going to be Waddle Dee. It's probably going to be, like, Koopa as a, like a, as a DLC character. And then, like, Sakurai hit us with a 180 real quick. And he said, nah, son. You guys are getting Joker, Sephiroth, and Banjo in this. And then Plant was one of those characters that just got left to the side. And never, that's what I said. Like, you don't see this character that much in the meta, but his neutral is so good that, like, you literally have to call this character be, be an anti meta character. Yeah, I mean, definitely because since, like, Plant was, like, literally the first DLC character, he, 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 he's special boy, but, like, especially his Patui, like, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, Fatui is doing wonders for Skeeter right now. There's a reason why we sing a plant in top air. I think the plant that everybody thinks about going very, very far is uh, Brood in Japan, who had a very, very good bracket run with this character. But we'll see, man. Brood and Skeeter are two different players, man, and I never like to judge a player by another player. You only judge them by what they do on the match here, and of course, having that first point definitely says a lot saving that jump to avoid that explosive flame the poison i don't know i don't know about you mighty man but i think skeeto is definitely taking some advice from me for sure now that he's using that poison cloud yeah i mean if po poison cloud could be used like i mean i was thinking of an idea of like what if you use poison cloud but you use the grab and it would constantly damage them as you were pummeling them that would be kind of op if that actually worked i've never tested it before i'm telling you man these zoomer kids are the future <laughs> I was born in the wrong generation, Strides. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, point is here, of course, Skeeto doing, doing some wondrous job here of trying to get some pressure there immediately with Patui, but that's going to be a back throw for MK and quickly taking that. No explosive flame from you. You think you'd learn the lesson from game one, but that's a hard lesson to definitely be learned here. But what a great way to use auto radical after explosive flame. And you can just tell MK is just trying to hold this neutral as much as possible, seeing as how strong. And just crazy the neutral for a character like Plant can be. Yeah, I mean the thing about uh, Plant is like he's got so much in its ar his in his arsenal. It's kind of ridiculous if you think about it. Yeah, he does. Like his arsenal. Oh no, not like this. Oh, you hate to see it. MCAT takes some small time to compose himself there on the Angel platform, which I'm assuming that's what he's doing because I would definitely be a little bit tilted from that. But hey, man, some some of these players never feel that tilt. That's why they're out here in this top 16, top 8, top eight realm. Good use of the forward air, but he was trying to use that Patui, but oh, man, that up smash, that reach, man, it could cover a lot. But just, I mean, since it's so, it goes so high, it can basically reach you from pretty high oh nice grab using the down throw missing that forward air, but getting that second one that's not going to close out of stock good air dodge using that up special but oh that uh down tilt to forward air it got him it's okay yeah, it, it. yeah like you were saying like it, it was kind of rough for skeeter there because he definitely fought a lot of the palu pressure but now he's able to kind of land on the stage unfortunately there is some end lag from going from the plant copter All right, right now, I mean, Skeeto isn't doing so bad right now. It's very close together, but right now, MCAT's not allowing him, uh, not allowing Skeeto to use Patui because uh, MCAT himself is using his own range option to interrupt Patui. Nice use of the explosive flame right there. Patui coming out with a good reflect. Good use of Patui right at the ledge. I mean, he's going to have to use that plant cop to get back up. Good, uh, good getting back to the stage. He did a normal get up. I mean, yeah. he's probably the best choice. Ooh. I can that see was the last one too. I can see like the small frame where Skeeto might have been trying to like either I it looked like the startup of a back air. Look, I could be wrong on that one, honestly, but it looked like the start of the back air or maybe going for long stem, in which long stem gives you armor as long as you're inside the pot. But unfortunately in that opportunity there was a hurt box extension and that all that like you said, Mighty Man, that last up air hit just hitting skeeter at that one situation that gives mcat a point on the board 
Uh, what school? Uh, so the question is here: what, Which which high school is Mighty Man going to compete for? I don't know what area you live in, Mighty Man, but I'm assuming there's like a. I don't. I'm assuming there's a, some different high schools out there. You can definitely go to. I I, I went to North Hollywood High School, uh, a high school that was prestigious for having uh, John Williams, the composer of Star Wars. Basically, he was like a teacher and a graduate from there, so that was kind of cool. I love Star Wars. Uh, I never got into music, but if I wanted to, I could have been like, cool, I went to the same school the composer from Star Wars is from. But for you, Mighty Man, what kind, what kind of what kind of competitions are you looking to get to in high school? That's crazy. I, I'm actually, uh, like, I haven't really thought about high school since I'm only in seventh grade. But if you really think about it, I have, like, a year and, like, one more summer vacation. Well, I have, th I have the rest of this year, which is, like, maybe a month more and then <laughs> right? I have summer vacation then another year and then summer vacation and i have to definitely think about it in like maybe at the second half of a uh, eighth grade right eighth grade i didn't really think about high school much i remember being in eighth grade and being like dude eighth grade makes me feel so cool <laughs> like the summer i remember the summer of eighth grade was really was a pretty fun time for me like i remember going to the beach i remember going to like that's when I started like hanging out with like my eighth grade buddies at the time, and just doing the summer anime, you know, beach trip. If you ever watch anime, there's always like a summer like going to the beach trip episode. <laughs> like, yeah, I remember doing that in eighth grade for sure. I remember definitely uh, doing the let's go watch the fireworks, you know, episode of the anime. I remember doing a lot of those in eighth grade. Eighth grade was a fun time. Seventh grade was pretty cool. I remember definitely going on a lot of field trips in seventh grade. I'm sorry you can't go on them right now. But hey, things are clearing up in COVID, and I'm pretty sure you can ask her. I remember, I was a lover of museums. I don't know about you. I loved museums. Museums are pretty cool. Yeah. All right, well, Wait. fortunately, we're not in a museum, man. We're at a final destination. The background, though, could definitely be construed as art. So we'll see what kind of museum, if this is a art museum or if this is a history museum. And we don't want any of these players to be on the wrong side of history. We, we, if you're me, man, you're rooting for Skeeto to be on the best side of this history museum. So let's see who's going to get there. Honestly, I kind of want, uh, like, Skeeto has a, he has a good chance of winning due to his uh, very different kind of play style with plant like right, using right. that using that patui a lot but i mean right now mcat's been finding out how to uh, find loopholes around that patui and just keeping him off stage and keeping that stage control also keeping him in the air which uh doesn't allow him to use his patui that will actually land he can use it but it won't land yeah exactly i think one thing we're seeing from mcat too is the adaptation as well like we're seeing MCAT definitely go for more auto reticle just because he knows how explosive thing can be somewhat committal towards the whole M lag. You have to wait for the whole animation to finish. Auto reticle, it can be as well ranged as explosive flame, but you can see how like at that distance it just locks onto plant and you never have to worry about the rest. So that's good for MCAT to understand the kind of like, you know, bread and butters of what to do in the matchup now a little bit more. Yeah, Skeeter right now is He's having a lot of trouble against this, uh, against MCAT's Palutena. Oh no, that, that plant copter, he didn't make it. I guess he did, I guess he went, he went too much at, uh, he didn't take that much of like, he took too hard of like a turn, I guess you could yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't make it up. Like, I honestly thought plants, uh, plant copter was like really OP when it first came out. But then now that you think about it, it's like, not uh it's not op it's oh like no skeeto i could see that yeah plant copter isn't as crazy or broken as some people thought it would have been but like it's uh it's rough man i don't want to see skeeto go down like that i'm sorry i put the wrong score there i don't want to see skeeto did go down you know too wide. i kind of wanted to see you know skeeto take it home I'm bias i will tell you that is bias right there but please bear with me because I did like how Skeeto was playing this plant. But nonetheless, man, that is going to be MCAT. Moving on to top eight there. 2-1 over Skeeto.